everyone in this video we'll be discussing a problem based on position velocity relation which is otherwise known as the third equation of motion so here is the problem a car is traveling along a road at 8 meters per second it accelerates at 1 meters per second square for a distance of 18 meters how fast is it then traveling so now the first step that we need to do to solve any problem is to just uh, note down what whatever is the information the question is giving to us so let us do that first so here uh, the acceleration of the vehicle is given to be 1 meters per second square and the initial velocity is given to be 8 meters per second and the distance is also given which is 18 meter now from all this information we need to find out what is the final velocity of the vehicle or the car so the final velocity which we are supposed to find out using all these three informations that that the question has given to us yeah so in this question we see that there are three parameters that the question has given to us that is the acceleration a initial velocity u and the displacement which is s and we need to find the final velocity v we know that the third equation of motion is 2 a s equals v square minus u square so here there are four variables or there are four unknown quantities here but out of which we have to find v here and all the three quantities we already have the values which are given in the question so on substituting all these three values here we will be able to find what is the value of v so let us do that now on substituting uh, these values we get 2 into 1 into 18 equals v squared minus 8 squared now on evaluating this we get 36 equals v squared minus 64 now we'll take the 64 to the uh, this side and on doing that we have v squared equals 36 plus 64 which is 100 now in order to find v we need to take the square root of 100 which is 10 so our final velocity is 10 meters per second so the velocity with which it is then traveling is 10 meters per second I hope you have understood the solution of this problem and you will be able to solve similar problems thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning